Remember, I had problems with my uh, split phase AC in for my Quattro. So I happen to have a 50 amp plug not too far away, about 10 feet away. So I ordered this, and I'm going to cut this cable to create a connection for AC in. This cable is so thick, I don't even know how I'm going to cut this. Let's try, I'm going to start with this. I'll leave a little bit of a pigtail so in case I ever need to use that that thing. Actually, yeah, this looks like it's kind of cutting it. Okay, I cut it. This is physically very thick. Just look at that thing. Oh, I'm surprised. I think these are six gauge wires here. For 50 amps. It better be at least. It does look like it. It's quite a bit harder than I thought to cut. But it did eventually cut. Probably should have used a cable, one of those um, heavy gauge cable uh, strippers, which I have, but I, I've always gone for the tin snips and the X-Acto blade instead. Wow. Look, the wires are indeed, the green is a lighter gauge, and this looks like 8 gauge, and these are look like 6 gauge. I'm thinking that I'll need to put a ferrule on these, and then I'll put them into the screw terminals in there. Note this is a fine gauge wire, so it will it's better with a ferrule, and it will also flex more. I got myself one of these uh, ferrule kits, and the 8 ferrule goes here. You can see this little excess here, I might trim that later. And let's take number 6's, let's put the number 6's on there. We'll crimp these probably with a hydraulic crimper. <clears throat> I do have some manual crimpers too. But you want to make sure you catch all the wires in there. The whole purpose of this is to make it so that the, the fine wire doesn't work loose over time from thermal cycles and whatnot, which would create a hazard, even if it works initially. Okay, I've got the ferules on, but I have not crimped them yet. Okay, now these are crimped. I've also trimmed a little bit off excess. These are ready to go in and be forcefully screwed in into the screw terminals. One big unresolved question is, because of the size of this wire, will it actually fit into one of those uh, strain reliefs? Or do I have to do some weird thing? We'll see.